Hi guys, my name is Yesenia and I live in Croatia. Today we are going to speak about school education system in this country. So, let's go! As in most countries, the basic education uh, in Croatia consists of two steps. So, primary school starts from the age of seven, usually. However, if you would like to take your kid at the age of six, uh, you have to visit the school psychologist and pediatrician. Before registration, in the first grade, children must be examined by a school pediatrician. One of the main conditions for your kid is height and weight. The pediatrician will ask for necessary vaccinations according to the vaccination calendar. So I highly recommend you to take the certificate from your doctor's office in your home country about your child's vaccinations in Latin. There is no need to translate it. In the primary school, I mean for first grades, basically all the subjects are taught by one teacher. Then children uh, go to grade 5 and study until grade 8. This is the secondary school, which is the same facility as a primary school. However, subjects are added – history, geography, later chemistry, physics, biology – they are taught by different teachers, which are called professors. At the end of the 8th grade, uh, the kids have to choose the uh, further uh, facility for their education. It can be uh, strukovna škola, high school uh, or gymnasium. Uh, please pay attention that there is no exam uh, currently after the 8th grade. All the grades from 5th until 8th uh, grade uh, are taken into account. Strukovna škola, high school, which is similar to technical school, and uh, kids study there for another four years. At the end, they take the matura exams and are awarded a diploma of completed secondary education. If they do not pass the matura, their education is considered incomplete, regardless of whether the child continues to study or work. How to enroll a child to school? For me, as a mom, uh, there was such a question in the past as well. There were many uh, assumptions about the difficulties of this issue. However, it turned out to be very simple. The first thing to do is to choose the school. It can be public or private. Education in public school is absolutely for free, regardless of your nationality or residence. In private school, uh, it can cost you between 500 euro and 1,300. So next I will tell you about public schools, as personally I have no experience with the private schools. Um, as a rule, children go to the closest school to their home. Each school is assigned to an area where children uh, who attend that particular school live. However, Parents have the right to choose any other school and if there are places available, the child can be accepted. Next, you have to come to the school and ask the secretary to fill out the application. Three, you have to bring school records. You can translate them into Croatian yourself or ask a certified interpreter. In addition, you bring your and your child's personal ID. It can be international passport and tax code of Croatia. If you already have the identity card of uh, Croatian residentship, uh, you can bring it. It already includes the uh, OIB or the tax code. That's it! Afterwards, you come to the first day of school with your child. Pay attention that the school year in Croatia does not start on um, September the 1st, but on uh, Monday, second week of September. There is no celebration ceremony. Bows, balloons, flowers for the teacher. Uh, it is possible to come in flip-flops. 
Eh, just kidding. <laughs> but regarding the school uniform, everything is very, very simple. The most important is that the kid feels comfortable. In the next episode, we will talk about pricing and personal impression of school system in Croatia. As always, we're waiting for your comments. With you were Yesenia and Tanya behind the camera. Bye bye! Dear Lisa, special hello from Tatiana.